All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. Um, review. Review. There's gonna be a uh, Titans of Darkness stream going on, but leave that to the side for now. It's probably start around 11:20 or so. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, but this will be uploaded later tonight. Twentieth. That's right. I finished it. Twentieth Century Boys. Finished it. Finished 20th Century Boys. I finished 21st Century Boys. This gets, this series, this manga series, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I would go perfect score. I would go perfect score. But, I mean, it's probably, I'm not going to say it is bet. I can't really judgmentally say that it is better than Monster because of the fact that I haven't read the Monster manga. I've only watched the anime. I can't really judge it on that. But I will say this. I feel that 20th Century Boys, 21st Century Boys, Narosawa's manga, this manga, is more interesting and more compelling than Monster. I will go that far. I felt that I liked how there were so many characters in this manga. Um, you know, excuse me. There's so many characters to go through. And I liked how you went through generations. You know, you had um, Kenji and his friends in the beginning. And then they become older and older. And they go from generation to generation to generation into the future. Um, I really liked how Nurosawa, Urosawa, can we call him Nurosawa, Urosawa, did that there. And, you know, this was more compelling. I, I felt the story and the characters and the artwork, I just felt it more compelling than Monster. And plus, because there were so many twists in this, I felt. Um, and, you know, 9 out of 10... I, I think that's a pretty high score, and it deserves a 9 out of 10, because this was, I just loved how intricate it was, you know, you know, you had, I don't want to spoil too much for the people who haven't read it yet, but I really find it weird that no one has read it yet, but I will say this, without spoilers, you experience a lot of twists in this manga, a lot of twists. Especially when you hit like volume 5 or so. When I hit volume 5, I was like, holy shit. I, I, I was stunned. I was like, oh my god. Where are they going from here? And then they went in the route they did. And I was like, okay, that's, that, that's crazy. That's pretty good. And I like the way it did it. Now, my only concern is I'm wondering those movies. They came out there where there are three movies they came out with. Of live action of 20th Century Boys. So, but overall, I really liked this manga. I felt it very compelling. It was very emotional as you went along with it. And like I said, the twists, the twists. And I will say this friend, friend, let me tell you something about the friend, man. This guy, wow, what a character. What a character. Because there's so many twists and turns in this manga when it concerns this character. You're like, okay, the friend is this guy. You find out. And, and, and it's just so... I don't want to spoil too much, but I'll just say there's so many twists when it concerns the friend. It is just too... It's so out there. It's so out there when it concerns him. Now, I'm pro... Uh, people that didn't watch this review will be like, Bonkai, who's better? Johan or the friend. I'm like, ah, uh, I can't answer that, unfortunately. I really cannot answer that. Because the fact of the matter is, is this. I've only watched the monster anime. I can't. If I get around to reading the, mo the monster manga, then I can answer that. Then I can answer that question. But I will say this about the friend. I think he really made people believe in him. To a very big margin. I mean, 
it's amazing. It's amazing when I was reading this because this guy who's wearing a mask got everyone to believe in his cause and follow him to the death, literally. And, and I, tell me what you guys think about the friend because personally, I think he's a very intricate, complex. Yeah, I'm bringing in some Uber Akari stuff. Yo, he was, and in some ways, he was the one preaching it. To a good extent, Uber Akari. Um, you know, he was keep he kept telling me, you know, oh yeah, it's a, you know. And I really enjoyed him, the friend. Because, like I said before, he was such a a character, such a intricate villain, complex villain. Because at one point, you're like, okay. Well, when you're reading it and you, you, you find out who he supposedly is, you're like, oh, shit. But then you find something else out. It, it's, it's unbelievable. The friend is an unbelievable villain, I suppose you could say. But his, his, him being the villain, what made him even more mysterious is the fact that he's wearing this thing over his head. You know, when you first see him, he wears a mask. And later on, you have this thing, this, this, this cloth. That he puts around his head with the insignia. Um, but yeah, he ruled, he pretty much ruled the world. You know, and I, I just love the 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 plot and just how it just moved along and all the different things that were going on in this manga. I was like, oh my god, this is great. I kept reading it and reading it and reading it. It was so intricate. And when I got to the end of it, I was like, okay, okay, I see what's going on here, yeah. I understood the whole spiel, I understood what was going on, but I will say this, Kenji, yo, Kenji is, 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 um, uh, great main character. Uh, I found, I found the, the journey that he goes through. What he has to go through to just finally face off against the friend is mind-blowing. Literally mind-blowing. Uh, you know, well, when you guys read it, just just come back to me if you have any questions about it. But personally, I think Kenji, awesome. Awesome. Now, I don't know if we compare Kenji to Tenma. Yeah, you know, people would ask me probably if people would ask me that question. Like I said, I can't judge it. I can't honestly judge um, Monster and 20th Century Boys because I haven't read the Monster manga, so I only watched the anime of Monster, so I can't really judge it to that extent. But I will say this: this was a good manga. This was a good singing. This was very compelling, very intricate. It felt, it was very futuristic too. And it was almost as if, I think the one thing that really surprised me with it, it almost felt like I've experienced it. I know this sounds going to sound weird, but tell me what you guys think about this. When I was reading this manga, it felt like I've experienced this in real life. Like the whole thing... On, I, without spoiling too much, I will say this. There's this one part when it has to do with the New Year's Eve. That, to me, felt like Doomsday kind of thing. 9-11 kind of thing, Spiel. Because when you see that scene, uh, you see a monument and shit and all this other stuff. There's this whole area dedicated to certain individuals and I'm like yeah that's awesome that's all that's what I felt it was very futuristic uh 20 century boys it was very there was so many different things to say about it but it was just a great manga check it out when you guys get a chance I loved it I, I loved it I, and I bought the whole series I don't, I don't give a shit I mean it was it was awesome just completely awesome now like I said before, if I get a chance, if I get time or money or whatever, 
and I get a chance to read the monster manga, then I can properly evaluate um, Friend Johan, Tenma Kenji. I just... Yeah, Kenji. Um, and you know, that that's the story. And another thing I really liked about this show, about this manga, was the fact that they brought certain things from... certain music things into it from from America, which was was pretty pretty boss. I mean, the name of the show is 20th Century Boss, and you it doesn't take a genius to figure out that that means the song 20th Century Boss. And there were, there were a lot of good little tidbits of music from the, that era of the um, 60s and 70s, which I, I thought was great too. So yeah, it was a good manga. Check it out, guys, out when you get a chance. 20th Century Boys. Um, not that expensive. I mean, each one is like $10, I think. But, uh, yeah. Amazon, you go there, you go elsewhere. You know, find it, but pick it up, pick it up, pick up 20th Century Boys. The friend, Kenji, all his friends, oh man, it's a great read. Uh, especially once you get past volume five. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. It's awesome. Pick it up. I'm Bonkai922. I will see you guys later. 20th Century Boys. Oh, I almost forgot. This happened yesterday. The Elite Eights. <laughs> Oh no, the Elite Ace. He um, he did a tag video to this one guy. He tagged me. <laughs> no. So apparently, I have to do a tag video for him. Um, that will probably happen later to. Maybe tomorrow. I'll try tomorrow. There's only a few anime series reviews I have to do. I have to do Blood Lad. And Majestic Prince came out, so I got to do that as well, watch it and do that. I might do them both to both and back to back. So, it'll be out of the way. And that will be the end of that. But, uh, yeah, that's the story, people. Yeah, I'm Bonkai 922, see you guys later. Pick up 20th Century Boys, Urasawa. This guy is awesome. This manga is... He's, he's, he's at the top. He's at the top. I mean, come on. And the next series I'm probably going to be reading now, but it has, I haven't gotten all the volumes yet, is Pluto. I actually bought volume 5 of Pluto recently, just now, today. So I'll be doing that, unboxing of that, pick up that. And I'll be, I guess I'll start, I might push it off to the side though, for Pluto. And I might start reading Nausicaa again, because I got to do a review on that too. So yeah. That's the story. Uh, Bonkai 922, see you guys later. The friend. Yo, the friend. There he is. Yo, this guy, he will make you believe in him. He will. It happens. This guy could have ruled the world. Think about that. I'm Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Peace.